Hello and welcome everybody to another episode of Sight Coffee Plays Chain Echoes. We're back and today we are going to be exploring Fiorwood. All of this. Uh, we kind of just sort of ran through the center here, down here, so that we could kind of just open up the whole map and see what's going on here. And we are going to pretty much just be running around using Sky Armor where we can, trying to gather all of the chests and then if we have any time towards the end um, after we gather as many chests as we can in each section I'm going to I'll show you guys go to the reward board because there's actually a decent amount of stuff to be done in Fjordwood like all these three things that's Roland's Field, Goblin's Dilemma we might have to look at that later but like these three and the, these ones as well. Come up here, there's more Fiora Wood stuff. Explore most of the area. Yeah, so, and the big reason for doing that is not just to get money and upgrades, which are nice, yes, but what I'm looking towards is trying to get the sacred water. Now, we've unlocked uh, 24, so at link 32, we'll get a sacred water, which we can use on that puzzle that you saw uh, an episode or two ago. Oh, actually, I had to claim those. Never mind, we now have a sacred water. I still want to do the, the same plan today because we want to try and get to a link of 32 to get the next sacred water. Um, and then from that, we can actually go get some more classes. So today though, we are going to be exploring Fjordwood if we can. So, wait, we can't go to, uh, Aiden? Why can't we go to Aiden? Have we been there? I feel like we've been there maybe once. Why we couldn't go back, I don't know. But apparently they won't let us go back. Discovered fast travel location. Aaron boys, don't get out. New skills. What do you mean by new skills? Oh, we all have, wait, why do we have... Oh, because I claimed it, so now I have two. I'll, I'll deal with that later. Probably could have gotten that so much earlier. The river's water doesn't seem to have any special properties. I wonder how it preserved the body so well. Excuse me? Wait, what did they say? What about a... What about a body? What are you talking about? We probably made the discovery of a century... Hey, who are you? Away with you. Now nah, I'm gonna see what this discovery of the century is, buddy. You've told me now. Now you can't help it. I'm gonna find out. You can find numerous giant skeletons in the Cortara Mountains, but we've never found such a well-preserved specimen. It looks almost alive. You'd think it'd rise at any moment. Don't tell me that. Whoa. Yo. I'm gonna do it. This one, this one looks special. Almost, almost, it's more enticing than the puzzle one, I'll tell you that much. The puzzle one's cool, but come on. Come on, we have to see what this does. We have to use our sacred water on this. I need to know what class I get. The mushroom class. <laughs> it's probably gonna be something like that, but. I wouldn't have done that if we didn't have any plan already for a sacred water. Alright, Glenn's going first on these guys, obviously using the ultra move to debuff them in all the ways and hurt them. Oh, nice. Oh, wow. Sir. I went hard. You went a little too hard on that one. My goodness. What are you weak to? Water? Bye. Makes those puzzle ones look simple. Defeat Vins without going into overage. <laughs> All right, awesome. Works for me. I didn't even know that was Vins. Cardillo, the vampire, excuse you. Huh. Ob 
obtain eight class emblems anywhere. We actually just got a lot of rewards. We got like three. And we're now at a chain of 30. So we're really close to getting 32 here. If we just... I don't know if getting these ones would, but if we go this way... Defeat a gazer while switching every turn. Are the gazers those blue guys? Because that wouldn't be too hard. Explore most of the area. Yeah, okay, we could do we could do this really easy. Interesting. Okay, we need to look at that thing, right? Um Who doesn't have one right now? What did we get? We got vampire. Description. Only takes care of themselves. Health and TP. Who could that benefit? Health and TP is good, but who only takes care of themselves? Other sucker restores 60 TP to self. That's a lot. That's good. Life sucker restores HP with a potency of 1.3. Undead Killer, Health Sacrifice, I'm not sure. Who would that truly benefit that isn't already benefiting more from a class that we have right now, right? Sienna's got the Gambler, that's a, that's a given for all the critical bonus she gets. Right now, we have Linnea as a monk. I've still been considering a couple of them, like Rune Knight. But I don't like the agility decrease. I don't know if it's worth it. And then Shaman. Shaman would be good for Linne. But again, an agility decrease is kind of tough. Glenn being a vampire... What is Glenn right now? The chemist? So that one we could kind of switch out. We were just giving him chemist for stat buff. Gives him more TP, more HP, but not a ton. Reduces his defense and mind and agility. So that's not good. But those allow him to heal himself and restore his TP. So he can kind of keep going. I almost feel like Eggle could use it. But he's already got a healing. Who, who does this benefit? I mean, I'll probably give it to Rob just for the stat increase. And he can stay alive. I'll give it to Rob. <laughs> it kind of matches his personality of taking care of only himself, so... Maybe that's a little rude, but that's how... He just comes across that way. Paralyzed, toxic. I guess we can get rid of uh, those. Again, I'll do the Grimoire stuff later. Since we're running through an older area like this, I don't think it's going to affect us too much. I mean, I guess you could also argue that if I buy a skill and equip it, then it's going to start to gain SP, so it'd be better to do that now. Yeah, you convinced me. I'm going to do that real quick. One second. Okay, then. Um... That was pretty good, actually. I, I got to set some stuff up and relook at some things, so I think that worked out really well. But where does this go? Oh, hi. Jack, I'm to cut these trees to make space for this for the camp to expand. Doing all this alone will take some time, though. Is that you telling us to come back later? I guess. Oh. 
We were able to go here. Why didn't it allow us to travel between the two? I wonder. Oh, isn't that where the, um, this house was? That one dude that was like, tried to take Lene. Quick fight. It's over with. So I switched some of her stuff out. So now she has water coat and fire coat. And soon uh, wind thrust will turn into wind coat as well. That's just because instead of having me be the only one that can attack, I can use the coat and it makes it so that everybody's attacks will then hurt whatever weakness there is. So I thought that that'd be uh, a better use. like three chests around here. Yeah, this is the area that we were like blocked from going to. Also, here's this. I wonder where the buried treasure is. Weird. This part of the forest is sealed off. Oh, okay. So we had to go from a different direction to get over there. And so then they don't want us to cross that soldier's path to get back. All right, whatever. What is the other symbol? Is there even one? Like, where am I supposed to go to find this? Here? I got it. Cool. I mean, that works for me. All right. So our whole entire mission this episode is to gather all the chests. And since I don't think sky armor is a big thing in Fiora Wood, we're just going to run around. So I guess we'll start in this Eden section and try and find the three chests there. That takes us out. We may as well, it's extra items to sell. They're pretty easy to kill. Plus it's SP, so why not, right? Oh. Plus, we just got the quest for defeating Alpha Wolves, so that's cool. Where is that? Oh. Is this the other thing that's supposed to tell us how we were supposed to get the right over there? I guess so. Uh, if you look at the quest log, because that's what we're working on, is this reward board. We're at 31. We just need, like, one more thing. We need to find one more collectible. And we've got our, our chain up to 32, and we'll get another sacred water. If we do that, I'm going to bounce over to that puzzle and do that fight to get another class. May as well. Hmm... Is this a... It's hard to tell now. Uh, I was saying, sorry, before. Find the hidden caves. There's hidden caves here. Also, there's that gazer thing to fight. Just two more chests around here. Wonder where they would be. Probably one down in that pond, and then maybe one up here. Be nice. Oh, you're not nice.
Look out where you're going. Those mushrooms are worth some money in Tormund. Yeah, sure. Step on my mushrooms. I I'm trying not to, my dude. Black tip. What is that? Triggers HP regen when under... Yeah, I mean, I think those are unique. But ultimately not that great. Mostly, um... So I found in battles that when my characters actually get to under 25 HP, um, it's better off to either regen them or switch them out. If they even make it that far. Usually when they're under 25 HP, it's because they're already dead. There's a way to go down there. Is there? I mean, there's a whole entire thing there. Maybe not. Maybe it's just this. It still begs the question of the last chest. Where is it? I'm not going to spend too long on any one area. Just trying to... Find like one little chest piece. It's not that worth it to me. Watch it be some super serious sky armor stuff. It's gotta it's gotta be down there. I just I have no idea how to get there. I just had an idea on how maybe we get there. I'm so sorry. We're gonna run some more now. But if this if this works, it'd be great. Okay, not that. We'll take the we'll take the water out. It's gonna be faster, I think. It's probably another there's a lot of hidden routes here. So if it's not there. I'm wondering if it's somewhere here. Like, if we keep following this. Maybe there's an offshoot that we can actually walk through? Like, right there? You see how that... You see that? That looks like somewhere we can go. Somehow. Oh. Nope, that's not it. Oh well. Let's go to the next area. Find the other chest later. There are three here. Well, there's one. Tease. Hello. Things here are really weak. We really didn't, like, I didn't explore this area as much as I thought I did. Looking at how much stuff there still is. Can I access my power armor? Please? I can't, so... We need to build the bridge, maybe? Do you think that there's a symbol back here? I don't remember seeing one, but if there is a symbol... The buried treasure will be over here, right? I don't see it. Alright. Probably up that way. Hmm. We'll have to start from up there to get down here. I 
think I'm realizing now why I didn't um, explore this area too much. Not only can you not use your armor, your sky armor, to get around quickly, you have to... Um, go through this kind of like maze of a forest just to find anything. The map doesn't really help. The map is kind of nice and it keeps its secrets, which I get why that's a thing, but it's uh, it gets an, a little old when you're trying to get loot and all of that. Is this a gazer? It is. So switching, defeat one while switching every turn. So just in case, at the start of our turn, every time we have a character, we will switch to someone else. It shouldn't be too hard. It's weak to water. Um, just in case. Hit him with that toxic. I've never used this one yet. Alright, switch you out. Did. Awesome. I think that's going to give us our, our chain of 32. And now we have a sacred water. Actually, we should probably just do this. We'll come back. We'll, we'll explore it. But we are totally going to get that fight going. Was it this one? I think this was the last one, right? Yeah, this, this looks right. Come at me, bro. Alright, let's get this fight going. It's gonna be more robots, right? Oh, lots of robots. Okay. Oh, lots of options here. Did I get rid of blind? I don't remember. I guess I did. Oh, no, it's up here. I have to organize those. Because they're kind of just everywhere right now, and I want them all aligned. All right. Get everyone's agility up a little bit. Glenn, you know what to do. There is the concept that I wait until I'm in overdrive mode so that I deal more damage with this, but... I'd rather... I'd rather get the turn off faster. We're not dealing a ton of damage, which is good, but we don't want to get comfortable here. Uh, now we hit them all with Suspicious Dart. There we go. They're they all blind. That's awesome. That worked out great. Oh, and then the counterattack. That's also good. This water jump is going to do some serious damage to them. Look at my ultra move meter go up so much during that. That's awesome. Alright, let's get rid of you. Try. Silence. So 
magic attacks, although I don't know if they really do magic attacks. Take out some of them with this. Did that really not kill them? They have like zero health left. Look how little health they have. I can steal from them, but does that really matter anymore? Nice, nice. Well, let's drop that overheat by just doing this again. Should work out really well. Perfect. Boom. Wasn't too bad. When they all have the same weakness, it can be kind of easy now. What's really difficult is when they have all these mixed weaknesses and strengths, and some of them have a strength that the other's weak to. So you can't just do an area attack. Living Flame the Pyromancer. Oh. Who's gonna use that? Maybe, maybe Glenn. Considering he has the uh, Flames attack. Is that gonna be more Flame attacks? I'm all for it. Let's see. Decreases his defenses and his agility a little bit. Magic goes up a bit. What's it? It, it leans super heavy magic. Okay. Uses fire magic to set things ablaze and wind to keep the flame going. Is there anyone that does that? Or should I give it to... I don't want to give it to Tomkey. Although he seems kind of like the person that could use it best. Magic fire attack that deals 1.5. Magic wind attack dealing 1.5. This wouldn't be good with Glenn just because his magic is so low. Fire resistance, plant killer. We want it to complement someone that already uses magic. Like Lene here. Although that decrease in agility is really bad. What is she even using? The monk? Which is health and agility. A lot of agility. Okay. Not for Eggle. He really needs to be the warrior. It's, it's pretty good for him to have that. She's definitely the gambler. She's almost definitely the cleric, right? I mean, I could make her a lot more... Actually... Pyromancer might work out really well for her. Her mind goes down a bit, but she gains a lot in magic. And then she'd gain two pretty useful attack spells. Whereas she doesn't really have much in the way of attack right now. And considering how high her magic is, that's kind of a weakness that she has so much magic, but so little attack ability. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to try it. Give her Pyromancer. Now. I think. What about you becoming Shaman? And then what if I made Bathraz the monk? Bathraz would be acting really fast. I don't know if it's better for him to be a monk, though. Could Victor be a monk? Oof. I mean, his agility would be great. <laughs> I don't know if that matters, though. He's usually in the in the um the reserves. What is Lene? She's she's a main, so she should kind of have first dibs on what class she gets. And she would probably do better as a shaman. More mind, more magic, more TP. She has a lot less health and a lot less agility, but she'd be attacking a lot heavier. Well, she doesn't really need Aqua and Terra, though, does she? 
She doesn't do an earth attack. DP magic mind. That actually could be really useful. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it. I still got to do something with the cleric, though. Um, Tom Key the cleric. Don't know if that's really a good idea. Could you pull it off? You would lose these, but then you could heal everybody, which would benefit you with what you already do. It would increase your magic defense by a lot without decreasing your physical defense too much. Your attack goes down, but that doesn't, but the, the attack and magic don't matter much for him too much because he's all about defense. He doesn't lose a lot in, yeah, you know what? Why not? Someone convinced me why that's a bad idea. For now, though, that's what we're going to go with. And we're going to go back to Fjordwood. Sure, we'll start here. We need... Fight it is. Did it... Did it not work? Oh, 50% chance, so it didn't work. It'll be good to get that leveled up to uh, its final level where it's 100%. He's just looking to counterattack, kill them. It's gonna be great. Okay. I'm gonna go find some more loot. Uh. I don't want to get stuck in another fight again. How is there two treasure chests hiding here? Like, there's no space for them to hide. These woods confuse me. No wonder there's so many quests for it. It's kind of weird trying to find everything here. Like, where does this go? How do we get there? Things like that, right? How did I miss that before? I wish I had my sky armor. I'm so spoiled. Let's go north some more. I'm wondering if there's anywhere else I should be exploring that's not necessarily here. I mean, I guess I should go to the left. I haven't really explored that area much. Looks cool. Sir? No sky armor for me. Let's do this. And we're going to treat this one seriously because I don't know how difficult he's going to be. No weakness, no strength. Okay. He's been blind. Awesome. Coat everyone in fire. I'm gonna start hitting him with oil attacks. Ancient 
Ancient Spore. Oh, paralyzes. Make him bleed. And then we also did fire damage there, so that's good. Doesn't have that much health. We should be good. Oh, there he is. He's dead. A skill leveled up. I don't know which one, but cool. It might be her um, throwing darts. That'd be nice. Well, there's a lot of them around here. A little bit of a battle on our hands to get through this. Do that. Try water this time. Nice. I'll take that. I know we're in overheat, I just don't want to try and use a, one of the heal things on him. Going to fire strike. Got a good couple criticals in, that's nice. Goodbye. Dragon Spore. So gonna be, there's going to be more of them, right? We haven't really gone over here at all. Where's this go? Still can't use sky armor. What is this? Hello? Can I do anything else? Go anywhere else? No, we're just gonna drop a brand new looking area on us without giving me any context as to anything? Okay. That's fine. Really? I don't want to know more. That just leads, this just leads to the city, right? Yep, okay. Giant wooden bridge just above the trees. It just works. Yes, with the crystals growing out of the bushes. I like it. It just works. Some kids were playing in the center of Fjordwood. They were chasing each other around a group of trees. Then a monster appeared. There is a monster in Fjordwood who's best friends with a turtle. If you kill the turtle and don't leave the forest, it will try and take revenge 
Someone got ambushed by it on these wooden bridges in the west. So, number one, run around a group of trees in the center of Fjordwood. Number two, kill a turtle and then, without leaving Fjordwood, come over here to these bridges in the center. So somewhere over here is a group of trees to run around. Probably that little circle right there. I'm going to keep exploring here, but that's good to know. I think I'll try and do that before we end this um, episode. Chainmail. That's old. <laughs> We're way past chainmail. Like, past gold-plated armor as it is. Look at all of this. Find ten collectibles. Oh, wow, we have just increased the chain to 53 by doing that. We linked these two large areas that we've been doing, which means we got another sacred water and another grimoire shard. That's awesome, and we're really close to 56. So that worked out really well for us. I'll do the grimoire shard later, but cool. A turtle. Just a random turtle? How do you just randomly kill a turtle? What does that even mean? Where does... Oh, that area. Let's explore this one first before we start unlocking even more areas. Now that I know to come back. get here because I don't I don't think we've been here yet this area these dragons are not something that I think I fought before there's chests and stuff around I don't I can go look for those later I actually want to explore that other part of the map. This world is so cool. And this game is really cool. It's a... Uh, takes a bit to get through. But the story is really good. I like the combat. I, I kind of hope that if they do a sequel that they update some of the crystal stuff and how it works. But otherwise it's really cool. Explore the area, so we got that done. Hey, just two more. Is the chain just like all of them? I think it's all of them. When they say a chain, I think they just mean how many have you completed that are connected to the rest of the completed ones. It's pretty lonely here. We are on the border to the Inner Sanctum. No one dares to come here. Trespassing is punishable by death. Also, look out for fairies. They play tricks on humans. Good to know. Just a nice little random tidbit. A factoid. If we happen to randomly kill a turtle... You gotta run to the bridges so that we can kill that boss. I want to go onto the bridge. This is a unmapped house. A pretty beat up house. Hello? Excuse me. It's just the summer cabin, you know? I have no idea what that's about. Probably some sort of quest or something later, maybe. Hi. Little ducks. Raincoat. 
Probably re uh, resistance to water attacks or something. I want to get in the boat. I want to get in the boat. I bet you you take the boat and it leads you down that way. Huh. I, I get the feeling we're coming across stuff that we're going to have to go deal with later. Hmm. For now, though, I'm going to teleport there. We can kill those um, forest wyverns or whatever later. say group of trees they said in the, he said in the center though so it's probably over here get past these guys I'm thinking is, is he said to run the kids were running around a group of trees in the center of Fjord Wood. We are in the center part, and this group of trees right here looks like something that we can actually run around. Like this, you see? So I'm hoping that in doing this. I mean, we may have to... There he is! Oh, it's the turtle! We take this guy out, and then we gotta go run over to the bridge. I have no idea how tough this boss is gonna be, so let's set up as if he's gonna be tough. Weak to water. Well, he's oiled right now, so... Wonder how tough his uh, attacks are. Okay, no physical attacks now. Oh, he has that move, but he's hardly doing any damage. Okay. Go oh, everyone's attacks. I hope it's still. I mean, everyone's physical except for Lene here. That's not good, but. Make it work, I think. I don't know if we can cleanse um, what he's doing. Will this work? Probably not. No. I don't think you can cleanse physical resistance. To re I'll have to, after this, um, before the next episode, readjust their skills because I gave them a bunch of classes, but I forgot to set their skills so none of them have what they should. Hmm. Okay. 
probably still not gonna work. Defeat Excalibur. Nice. And so then, if we were to teleport ourselves. Hopefully that's not considered leaving the woods, otherwise we have to kill Excalibur again. That poor turtle. Hopefully we were putting him out of his misery, that giant sword stuck in his back like that. And then he said, if you're wandering around on here after killing the turtle that is the monster's friend, he'll ambush you. what he said, right? So... Maybe we gotta be... He said in the west. Which would actually be this area. But maybe it counted us teleporting as leaving, so... We might have to go kill Excalibur again. Yeah. Kill Excalibur, then run over here and up onto these bridges. That's fair. Now we know what to do, right? I, I feel like he would have already shown up. I'll give it one more lap. But I'm not seeing anything. Okay, let's teleport and try it again. Excalibur was super easy, even with all of the um, physical resistance, so. We're gonna kill both bosses before the end of this episode, so this episode may be a few minutes longer than normal. Just FYI. I am gonna do this, it's bothering me. I don't think. Anyone gets new skills. We haven't unlocked new skills yet. Three more? Yeah, okay. So they're all just getting stat boosters at this point. And then I'll set all their stuff really quickly. I'm not even going to cut this out. We're going to do it that fast if I can help it. I already had an idea of what I wanted to give them. Set them. Let's see. We're not putting that one on for him. Ignis and Ventus, which are really good. 10 TP for that much damage. But I really like Shield and Aura as well. But how do you... Multi-shot's kind of nice. Medical water is really nice. And switching crest is kind of important. So that he can either attack or heal people up. Well, is it? 
he starts off in attack mode. And I like all of these. Healing one person for a lot, healing everyone for a decent amount, raising people up when they go down. Those are all super useful. Inflicting wet. I, I could probably get away with not using that one. Then again, that would actually go really well with Ventus. Should we just give up on these? Multi-shot's nice. I actually attributed some of her uh, crystal things that I put on her towards a multi-shot. Here, so I'm gonna organize those. We'll see how that feels. Counter mind up, defend, TP up. I like these. Now you've got undead killer, HP sacrifice. Yeah, yours are set. Aqua and Terra. That's for one, that's for one. They're both really strong. But I like using the all attacks. So, Terra, Aqua. Okay. Now we move on. Back to that tree. skills leveled up, so that's nice. Now we gotta fight them. on like the second or third run. Number three, there he is, okay. All right, Sienna. Yeah, I figured he was gonna do that sooner rather than later. Damage, nice. Ego, you're going to grab attention. Oh, I totally could have used Ego and done um, the one that makes him dry it and then used Aqua Attack. That would have been good.
Okay. There we go. Excalibur replica. So now, without teleporting, we'll need to fight this guy off too, but without teleporting, we need to get down to the bridges and start running across them, I guess. somewhere. I'm not even sure where the other one is, so I'll deal with that later. We're trying to get to a boss. What's the fastest way to get onto this bridge? I mean, we're down here. We may as well explore a little bit. also got the hidden caves thing like I said um, I know that we're probably gonna run a little over an hour that's totally fine I want to finish up what we're doing here after we uh, get this chest kill these guys and beat the boss we'll probably be done with fear wood for a while we'll move on to something else there's other places that need to be explored uh, that we haven't explored at all although I might just continue with the uh, main story next time There it is. Okay. Ooh, platinum. That stuff's good. Like... You need that for both your armor and your weapons, for the high-end stuff. Okay, so we killed the turtle. We have not left the woods. We are now on the bridge in the west, and we are going to run around it until we're ambushed. And if that boss turtle is not the turtle, then I don't know what to do, because he said that when... Here it is. It's a bunny! No! I'm gonna have to kill the evil bunny! <laughs> Alright! I wonder how difficult evil bunny is. Weak to water. Athros. Weak to water. Strong as fire. Okay. Let's set him up. Give everyone a water coat. Of course, he then decides he's going to evade physical attacks. Mm. That's fine. It was 2,000 damage. Wow. That's a lot of damage.
Harry Crown. We did it. Did we not get a quest done for that? Is there no quest associated with him? I wonder what Harry Crown is for then. I mean, that was almost definitely the thing. It came out of nowhere and attacked us. Huh. Well, part of me wants to explore this area. Like, this dragon area. We haven't really explored it. There's a cave over there. And I want to be kind of done with Fjordwood after this, so we're going to get ourselves over to that cave, see what's in there, and then we'll call it. All right, guys. paralyzes. Nice. We're getting lots of SP. What is this? That is not the first time I've had one of those and I have no idea what it does. What? Where am I? Oh. Th this is that... Wait, is this this... I I'm losing my words here. This is the... Yeah. So, that cave a long time ago under the waterfall that we went into, and there's like a big old boss to fight, and uh, we couldn't do it. This is where that is. So, I, I get the feeling that maybe we could succeed now. We've done a bunch of upgrades and upgraded our guys and gotten class stuff. But, um, yeah, that's... I feel like the best that we can do to explore um, Fiora Woods without really, you know, just taking time going through every single little piece for every tiny bit of loot. And we're not here to do that, just to upgrade. As you see, our SP is like, is, is really good, so I can probably upgrade a couple skills too. I think it's time. We'll probably try that boss again next episode, and if that doesn't work, we'll move on with the main story. But for now, we are going to be ending this episode here. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please click the like button. It helps me out so much and supports the channel. Subscribe if you want to see more Let's Plays like this and others in the future. And with that, I'll leave you guys with this. May your days be filled with games and your life be filled with fun. Until next time, everyone, have a good one.